Okay, let's um, let's look at the schedules. Let's look at these schedules. Um. Uh, okay, so plumbing fixture schedule connection should be part of your schedule. Um, uh, I don't know, part of your <laughs> schedule group, I guess you could say. Just so on that sheet for your sheet, you need. So I have. A water heater schedule, plumbing fixture unit count, uh, okay, plumbing fixture connection, let's turn this off, and plumbing fixture schedule. Okay, so the connection and the schedule, what are we, what's going on here? So what's the difference? That's the connection. Well, that's the, okay. The uh, difference. So we have a count, connection, connection. And the schedule. Okay, I think that what I need is this plumbing fixture connection instead of this plumbing fixture schedule. But, okay, I think that what I need to do is put a remark in here for the <coughs> for each of the plumbing fixtures so okay let's look at that so for the fields I need to add a remark it looks like right because it's not here so let's highlight R right and looks like the remark is here. So I'm going to add that remark column, right? Okay, now you see? So just a little adjustments here, a little adjust, up, a little adjustments here, there, everywhere, right? Okay, so that's that. So you can input the remark here. Um, but yeah, that's important to have. Uh, so let's go, let's, let's center these guys out. So what I can do is highlight all of these. Click the top one, shift, right? And the alignment is going to be center, right? Okay. So everything is centered. So this plumbing fixture schedule... I think that I can delete. Let's delete. Okay. And rename this guy. Plumbing fixture connection schedule. Oh, just plumbing fixture connection. That's fine. Okay. So we'll leave that like that. Plumbing fixture connection. And let's go back to the sheet. Okay, good. Uh-oh. So, it looks less... Wait a minute. So, fixture schedule. Okay. And... Oh, for, Fixture schedule and let's drag. So, in order to put a schedule on the sheet, you can drag that schedule. Okay, and that's the plumbing fixture connection schedule. Let's do this 
and it looks like we have the same information right we can just click here and just adjust you know to our okay so it looks like it's the same plumbing fixture schedule and plumbing fixture connection are the same so I can not have let's not have the plumbing fixture schedule okay so we delete that guy move this guy up here okay and we can adjust in this you know I mean we can click on it and you know make the necessary changes here or right here adjust here you know so according to the schedule um we have our connections we have 10 in the project so far and these are the connections right so the laboratory have hot water and cold water urinal cold water only right this column is not going to be filled out and the drain and the vent and water closet same thing there's 21 so far and that's the connection no hot water of course the drain connection we do a four inch and a two inch vent okay so that's going to be typical of uh, a schedule you know where it has information um, that you can use this is another schedule that should be part of your sheet you know your schedule sheet where everything is being totaled you know and then the, those are the units those are fixture units drainage fixture units right we have cold water fixture units hot water fixture unit total hot water fixture unit total cold water fixture unit hot water fixture unit total okay so let's do that Let's go back into Oh, here it is. Okay. Hot water. <laughs> okay, hot water. Hot water water supply fixture unit totals. Okay, that's good. And the cold water should be higher, right? Oh, it's a lot higher. Wow. Okay. So, uh So, it looks like everything seems to be adding up uh water heater schedule okay so that looks okay because these are going to go on your schedule sheet right which is this guy and water heater schedule plumbing fixture schedule how many do i have one two three one two three okay and just for the heck of it let's do this I'm gonna remove this right click and remove this schedule because I'm gonna put it back just to show you guys how to add the schedule onto your sheet so I'm gonna remove the plumbing fixture connection schedule and now I'm gonna add it back in so you go to your you know project browser right and here is the plumbing fixture uh, connection so I just left clicked on it highlight it and drag it over just drag it over and it should pop in right there you know and then you can modify it and format it <coughs> I'll just click on it and make it you know how it should look okay um so having done that what we need to do is look at some more or a schedule that i need and what i've done is or what you can do is if you have a project right but you've already made your schedule right let's say i want to add this schedule to another project so you highlight it right click on it save it to a new file right so you don't have to do this again and somewhere 
in your file structure is a list of your schedules and I think that let me go back because I'm doing families that's not the right one template schedules so in my structure see I knew I was on the wrong path when I was I don't know where I was but it wasn't the right one. Oh, I was here families I'm like where is the water so what I was gonna do was click this one and it would have been it was, I, will, I would be like where's the schedule right but that wasn't the right uh, folder so your file structure is very important I knew that I was in the wrong location because that should be in my template right where I have my schedules right and this is my schedule so I can save it here but I've already done that so what I'm gonna do is insert a schedule that I've already saved I'm gonna use this hot water supply piping um, okay so let's cancel out of this no file will save yes that is true so um i need a let's do the hot water supply uh piping um schedule uh, what i need to do is insert that schedule into my this project let's say that that schedule we're going to insert and we are going to insert from file and insert views from file all right is this particular favorite template schedules this hot water supply hot water piping all of that let's do this one this was saved from let's say a previous project but it was saved in the folder right let me go back cancel so what you can do just like that right click save to new file all right so you save to new file template or wherever your file structure is going to be and it's going to be here let's say i saved that six months ago right so let's cancel and because i know that it's there and i need a hot water supply piping schedule for this particular project so i know where it is and what i'm gonna do or what i need to do is insert it right insert this view so we go to favorites or wherever for me it's that's where my file structure is so here and i go to schedules and i'm going to insert this hot water supply piping schedule into my project let me okay so let's open and it should populate okay um select drafting views schedules or reports to be added to the current project right and so only chose one let's see what would happen if i chose can i choose more than one no way right no way schedules can i choose more than one shift nope <laughs> that makes well why does that anyway so let's continue uh hot water supply piping open yes we want that one yes 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 so it should populate over here in the schedule quantities right and I say okay and it should come here and that's my system hot water supply system uh, i'm gonna close this out but i have the schedule in this project which was saved from another project 
So instead of managing a schedule, right? Whatever whatever schedule you need, right? Instead of going through this and going through all of this and you choose this, so I would choose probably pipes, you know, wherever they are. Uh, probably pipes, yeah, something like that, and then you go through that, go through that. So let's cancel that. So once you have a schedule, you can use it, right, from, you know, modified or whatever, but you can use it from one project to another, pro another project, but you have to save it, right? So because... So the hot water supply piping, I want to show that, let's do this, let's go here, and I need to, because my supply piping is part of my system, right? Okay, so let's just... I'm going to play around here and turn off all of the other systems but the hot water. Okay. So in order for the uh, circulating pump to be sized, it needs to know how much heat this hot water pipe is losing. Right? So in order to size this pump, I need to know the size of each one of my sizes and how long they are and what else is on here. The length and the diameter. Okay. System type, diameter, and length for the hot water piping. Right. So let's go to uh, properties. And system type. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. And we have domestic hot water. Okay. So let's do double. Okay. So we go here and let's go properties, fields. System type, it should populate because it's already there. Formatting, fields, system type, diameter. Why is it not populating? Let's go back. Diameter. Length. Calculate totals. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, so the system type, what, what's going on here? Uh, let's go back. Filter, something is not, it's not populating. Format. Diameter, calculate the diameter. No, let's go back, show lengths, system type, calculate totals, filter, Formatting. Appearance. 
cancel it. Okay, so I, I hope, let's see. <clears throat> The plumbing. Let's 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 try. I think that what I need to do after checking my notes when I had to go over my notes, and let's make sure. So hot water type mark type. Comment, type comments. Okay. DHW. Manufacturer. Type comments. Domestic hot water. DHW, right? Come on. Where is it? Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So it was just a matter of going into the property of the pipe to apply the type comments so we edit edit the type and i had to add the system so it, it, it was looking for a system but i was but it couldn't find it because i wasn't telling it which one to look for right okay so let's see let's see let's see let's see oh what was i gonna do Oh, here yeah I don't think I need this grand total I need this one but we have all of the pipe lengths for the supply piping but I think I'm gonna take off this grand total let's go sort yeah here so I don't need see title and totals okay yeah i think that that's the count so i need title and totals right just title i don't know what that means title i guess that's the title this is a total i guess i think that that's right yeah grand total okay yeah i didn't need the 98 okay so um let's go back and just for the heck of it i'm gonna insert another the hot water return piping right so let's do this again insert from file insert views from file and it's going to be a schedule so let's go to a template schedule and hot water return right and let's open that and it should yeah that's good it should populate in here yes so okay so you see this so what we need to do based on the formatting of this particular schedule I think that what I need to do only is to look at my hot water return piping right which is in a filter let's do this okay that's gonna be yellow the hot water return piping edit the property and we are going to add right okay so let's go back and make sure that what we have is correct let's see what system we're on domestic hot water return okay so i think that i can control c this see how lazy i am control c and go back to my um no, go back to the pipe. Hot water return pipe. And type in the comments here. Control V. Yes. Now, back. If it's formatted the same, it should populate, right? Nope. Okay, let's go back. Hot water return piping. Let's go back and look at what other information see right here change this domestic hot water return All right 
Okay, good. So the same thing it looks like. We got to format it just a little bit different. And we want title and totals. Right? Say okay. And let's look at the hot water. Let's make sure they're the same. Okay, so we have the gap. And that is based on um, that gap is here, right? Blank row before data, right? So if I uncheck that, I'm not going to get a, I'm go let's go back. Blank row before data, okay? Blank row before data. I thought I unchecked that. Uncheck, say okay, and it goes away. All right, so I'm gonna undo that because I want that blank blank row. <clears throat> okay, so those schedules, it's a little once you get used to it, I guess you know you have to. It's a trial and error, but they're so they are so powerful. And once I have that, I can apply it or add it to my schedule sheet. Right. So I can drag this guy, left click, drag it over. Revit will align it for me. Drag this guy over. Okay. And you can format it however, but what you have is your totals for your hot water supply and hot water return piping for your schedule. But at this point, it's just a little bit of information. So I can size my um, circulation pump. Okay. Well. I hope that helped, and I will talk to you guys later.